What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video, we're going to talk about our favorite places that we have visited. All right, before we jump into this video, we want to take a minute to talk about our mattress from rvmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. But we have some additional information about a giveaway at the end of this section and then even more information about this at the end of the video yes. on how to enter and how to win. So Stay more to come tuned. on that. Yes. All right, so our mattress, you guys have heard us talk about this before. We absolutely love it. There's a link in the description that is rvmattress.com slash strange for 25% off. Which is wonderful. Um, you can pick, I think they have four different types of mattresses, a bunch of different firmness yep. um, options, all your different sizes, like, sizes and shapes, and, right. you know, all of those things. It's a wonderful company. They're right here in the United States. Yep, they're actually out of Phoenix, Arizona, but it's free shipping yes. for you anywhere in the United States. And they have a 120 night guarantee so that if you do not absolutely love your mattress, you can send it back to them or call them and let them know that you're not happy and they'll tell you what to do with it. We got the Aurora Lux and let me tell you, it's so luxurious. <laughs> It's so nice. We absolutely love this. And we have the medium firmness because she likes very soft. She wants to sleep in a cloud. I need a little bit firmer for my back since I've had some back problems in the past. So we settled on medium. Works perfect. It does work perfect for us. And then we also comboed that with our adjustable platform yes. uh, because they do not just have mattresses. That's right. They also have platforms and uh, frames and pillows and blankets and you know all of the things that go along with bedding so we actually have the adjustable platform as well and so i love that option for like when we're sitting in bed watching a movie mm -hmm. on our tablet we can put it in the zero g mode and it doesn't hurt our hips or our backs or <laughs> he actually made it through an entire movie without fidgeting without moving um yep. so so that's huge for him. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's one of our favorite features. If you guys are interested in that, check it out. Yep. And again, you get 25% off. Follow the link, rvmattress.com slash strange. Now, we're having a giveaway. Yes. It's actually sponsored by rvmattress.com. So the giveaway is... A mattress of your choice. A mattress of your choice. <laughs> Not just a specific mattress. This is a mattress of your choice. Yes. So you get to figure out what works best for you. And we're gonna have some more information about that giveaway at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. Yes, because you won't wanna miss it. You don't wanna miss this. We've been on the road for over two years now, and we narrowed this list down to five. There's so many places we could visit, and there's so many places that we absolutely loved and enjoyed, but we're gonna give you five for now, and it's not in any particular region, although it kinda happened that most of them fell in a certain region. So these are, by accident. these are our top five because it's places that we enjoyed enough to to want to go back over top of seeing other things. Right. Um, so we would definitely go back. Yeah. So we would we would choose to go back to these areas to keep exploring because there's so much to do there. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. So number one, if y'all have watched us for any length of time, you know that we love the UP of Michigan. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what UP stands for, it means Upper Peninsula yes. of Michigan. We love Michigan as a whole. We also just enjoy spending our time up there on the, you know, in the all of nature yes. <laughs> area of it's, Michigan. It's, it's Alaska 101 up there. Like, it's like your intro to Alaska. If, if, if the UP was a class, it would be <laughs> intro to Alaska. At least that's the way we feel about it anyways. <laughs> We've never been to Alaska to know. Right. But, uh, but we feel like when you're, once you cross over to that border and you see all of the different, um, the sparse camping and the, the different wood lines the and all the- Non-paved roads. Yeah, lots of non-paved roads. Right. No GPS signal, no cell phone service. Yep. Tons of waterfalls, tons of hiking, places to ride your snowmobiles, like whole nine yards. Yeah. Like it's it's just a totally different world. So you mentioned hiking and waterfalls. Obviously those are huge. Uh, checking out the Great Lakes. You yes. can get up into Lake Superior. You can go up into Marquette. You can go up <laughs> into Copper Harbor. And uh, there's just a bunch of areas, like she said, pictured rocks, all beautiful places. The Sioux Locks, Sioux St. Marie. Yes, and another cool place is right there, um, right outside of Mackinac Island. Yes. And then taking a trip over to Mackinac that's, Island. That's St. Ignis. St. Ignis, or you could take a helicopter ride like we did. Yes. And it's just amazing. So we, we would love the whole area. And believe it or not, like we found plenty of places where we could fit this big apart rolling apartment complex. So if we can do it, a lot of you can too. 
Now, granted, uh, there are some roads that I wouldn't recommend yeah. um, taking the rig. Plan it out. So we did we did lots of planning, figured out where we actually wanted to park the rig and what we wanted to do as our day trips. And so we would take day trips with just the truck. The rig's not going to go down a lot of those roads. Yes. Be ready for mosquitoes while you're up there. That's the, that's, I believe that's the state bird up in that area. Uh, one of the locals said that it's nine months of snow and three months of skeeters. Yeah. So <laughs> that's the deep, year. deep woods off is your best bet up there on top of having thermocells because right. we, we used them all and he still got bit, but yep. it wasn't as bad. Go visit that whole area. Plus you get to go over the Mackinac Bridge to get there. If you're coming from Michigan, if you're coming from Wisconsin, you know, you just kind of ride up into it. But from Michigan, the bridge is awesome. Yes. Okay, our second place, not second favorite, they're in no particular order. No, so, we actually asked the kids what their favorites were and, and we just jotted them down the way that we thought of them. Except so. for the last one. The last one is all of our favorites. So that's why it's going last. We're saving, the, <laughs> we're saving it for last. The second place that we absolutely loved was the Black Hills area of South Dakota. And this one is, it's funny because we weren't expecting to love South Dakota as much as we did. And we didn't get to spend a whole lot of time there. Right. But the little bit of time we did spend, we got to do hiking. We got to see the big fluffy cows. We got to see... That's true. <laughs> we Don't pet the fluffy cows. Do not pet the fluffy cows. <laughs> we got to explore the, you know, the national park um, of Wind Cave. Yep. Uh, we got to go to Mount Rushmore. We did not get to go to a lot of the other places. Badlands. Like, we didn't get to do the Badlands yet. Um, but we did drive through them yep. um, on our way to where we stayed at camping. So it's just a whole lot of things that you can do there and see there. And the kids just loved it. Um, I think it was Michaela's favorite. Yep. We stayed at a little private campground called Sun Sunrise Ridge and it was in Hot Springs, South Dakota. Yep. Cool little place, just a private owned. There's no amenities or anything like that, but it's it's like literally five minutes away from Wind Cave National Park. Yeah, I think it was like two miles. We we take a right out of the campground and you're in National Park yeah. <laughs> and you got fluffy cows everywhere. Yeah, so every evening after we got off of work, we would just go to the entrance of Wind Cave just so we could see fluffy cows every night. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what fluffy cows are, they're buffalo. Yep. The other thing is, is like Mount Rushmore, that whole area is just, beautiful especially if you've never been west before like we've never experienced mountains like that yeah. or the prairies or anything like that so all the landscape like it, it's just we went through hikes and and all of that we did the cave tour too and that was amazing mm -hmm. also so it was just a lot to do and a lot to explore and did not disappoint right highly recommend check out the black hills area specifically for us it was around hot springs south dakota all right so the third the third area on our list is actually Carson Valley, Nevada. 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 We were corrected while we were there. Apologies. It's Nevada. That was our like big surprise. We got there. We literally only went there to go to the Battleborn um, in Reno. factory in Reno to, yep. to do a tour and, um, and to talk with them about par a partnership. And we ended up falling in love with that whole area. It has mountain ranges on both sides of the Carson Valley. Um, you have Lake Tahoe over the mountain ridge. It's the Sierra Nevada mountain range. Yep. And so once you kind of go over that, Lake Tahoe is right there and you're on the border of California. Yep, and we actually got to cross over into California while we were visiting Lake Tahoe. Mm -hmm. There's a cute little town there with a um, ski resort area right there. So we were there when it was cold. So we were actually seeing people walking around in their yeah. snow boots and carrying their skis and stuff for the snow lift. Yeah, it was probably lift. one of the most picturesque like areas yes. we've been to because the, the mountain range was just amazing. Of course, we don't have 12,000 foot mountains over on the East Coast. So no. seeing those just all the time out of our rigs windows. Right, and like, just we, just, amazing. like we went up the street to Walmart and you come out of Walmart and it's just yeah. mountains and it's just beautiful. It's like a green screen everywhere. <laughs> and it was snowing on the mountains while we were there, but we never got snow down in the valley. It's like 65 degrees where we were Yeah, just looking at the snowstorms. So it's like the best of both worlds. You can enjoy the beauty without feeling the cold. Yes. Um, but while you're there, there's actually a little town um, that our friend Derek over at Battleborn told us about called Genoa. Mm -hmm. And Genoa is the oldest settlement in Nevada. Yep, and it was actually established in 1851. So that is making it the oldest oldest settlement. Yep, and so it was really neat to see. It was we a cute came, little town. We had dinner there, did a little bit of shopping. Went to the bakery. Yep. Yeah, it was just, a, it was a cute little town to explore. So if you get a chance, 
if you're going in that area, stop in Carson Valley, Nevada, and just check out the uh, the stuff that's around there because you won't be disappointed. There's lots of hikes and stuff like that around there too. Number four. All right, so for this one, we're still out west. <laughs> we told you that we didn't plan on that, but it's just like we've we just loved a lot of the areas out west. Yes, and, there, and it's just so much to do out there that you just don't get tired of it. Number four, we picked Cottonwood, Arizona, and Sedona. Sedona. It's kind of in the same, that area right there. Yeah, they're, they're really close by each other, but if you get to Cottonwood, we stayed at the Thousand Trails right there in Vigarty Valley, <laughs> and when you come out of there and take a right, you land into Cottonwood, but you can see the city of Jerome up on the hill up on the hill mm -hmm. and it's so awesome at nighttime it just looks like a city like skylight just lighting up the side of a mountain yep um so we we actually drove up there i don't know if, if you have seen our video from there but we actually didn't get to explore a whole lot because big booty judy did not fit there is zero parking <laughs> for us in fact there was twice that i had to back back down the road yeah. so so we did find out if you have a big rig or big dually like us a big truck um, and you don't want to go into tight spaces or you even drive a little car and you don't like tight spaces there's actually a state park when you first enter Jerome mm -hmm. uh, that you can park at and I don't know what the fee is to ride the trolley but there's like a little van shuttle that will take you up into Jerome and you can just walk yep so you don't have to drive two things to do while you're in Jerome one go see the uh, world's largest kaleidoscope store yes. and two the Haunted Hamburger. You gotta eat there. Now, outside of Jerome, we also went to the Montezuma uh, Castle yes. and Tuzagut, which is like national monuments. Yes. Amazing. To be able to see the ruins and stuff like that from that from that time is just a, it's so really, cool. It's really awesome. And to see, like, you can see where the people built this huge monument up and then had the water and, and you know, all of it's dried up they now. Bore but you tunnels could, into the wall Yeah, and they stuff. had like, tunnels and, it's and everything. It's, it's just the whole thing is really cool. And if you are a passport holder like us for the national parks, you can get your stamps yep. at both of those locations. And there's a third one down the road, but it closes a little early. So we weren't able to, to do that one. And then make sure you go check out Sedona because the red rocks are just <laughs> amazing. Yes. The sunsets there because of all the red rocks were beautiful. We had a great dinner. We went jeeping. There's lots of trails, like pretty you, much anything yeah. you can think of. Hiking, off-roading, like all of those things. Make Rent sure side you, by sides. Make sure you download some off um, side by side apps that will give you different trails that you can do if that's what you like to do. I'm sure you already have those apps, but there's a lot um, out there and there's some that you know you'll think it's okay for you to do but make sure you have somebody with you yep. um, somebody experienced with you um, if you run a Jeep so that you can be safe on the trails you can't you can't go wrong in that area it's just it's amazing especially if you've never been west that is that was really really it, pretty and he ran into some javelinas in the in the wild javelinas yes mm -hmm. I, I thought to myself I was like this can't be the day <laughs> I'm backing away <laughs> I'm not getting taken out by a Oversized guinea pig. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but so there's tons to do, tons to do, tons to see. Beautiful pictures. You just can't go wrong. We've got to the last one. So so far we've talked about the UP in Michigan. We've talked about uh, the South Dakota, like Black Hills area. We've talked about Sedona in Cottonwood. We've talked about Carson Valley, Nevada. And now our absolute favorite, we go every year. Florida Keys. Florida Keys. <laughs> that is by far our favorite place. No, what's funny is that all the other places we chose, we love to hike those areas. We like to go out and explore the lands and, and things like that. When we're at the Keys, it's completely opposite. We like yep. to spend time on the water. On the water, love the restaurants. I love the local food there. Yeah. I love the local everything, the palm trees, <laughs> even the iguanas. The Dolphin Research Center is there. The Turtle Research Hospital is there. We enjoy both of those locations. So if you've never been to either of those, please check them out the next time y'all are down in the Keys or even go on their website and check them out there because yep. they both do wonderful work. Marathon is a great place, kind of a central place to stay. 
because then you can, you're about 45 minutes to an hour from Key Largo or Key West. Yes, and if you go up to Key Largo, well, you come through Key Largo to go down to Key West, but our friends at Horizon Divers is there and you can go snorkeling or diving or any of those things to tell them that we sent you because we have friends there. And then Key West, which is awesome. Go see a sunset in Mallory Square. Yes. Like go to the lighthouse, go check out the southernmost point. Yeah, we actually um, got to climb the lighthouse this year. Two years prior to that, we have only been able to view it from afar. Right. Uh, we never made it before it closed, but that was something I got to do for my birthday. We did a jet ski tour around Key West, yes. which was pretty cool. We rented a slingshot. Oh, yes. And that was just amazing. Look, there's just so much to do in the Florida Keys. and. Uh, I think we're going we're gonna to even we're going to spend even more time there this year. Yeah, we went in July and it was really hot, but it didn't disappoint. Like even then, with it being right. so hot, because you spend so much time in the water, the heat doesn't really bother you because of the water all over, and you have a constant breeze and, and things right. like that. So even if you can only go in the summertime, just do it. You won't be disappointed. Yep, but wintertime is the best down there because it's like 75 to 80 degrees but it's super busy and it's super competitive to get spots. So if you're thinking about going to the Florida Keys anytime between November and like March, book it well in advance. Yeah, just plan, just call call places and, and plan ahead if you're trying to go down there for the summertime, it's not that bad. You can actually call usually about three, four weeks in advance and, and get a spot. Might not be the perfect spot for you. Like when we went, we got an in, interior spot, not one right on the water because the water ones were all, were all booked up, but I didn't want to pay the amount for the water yep. site anyways, so it worked out. Yep, sure did. <laughs> okay, well, make sure you go check out the Florida Keys. So that is our list. That is it for today. That is our five favorite places that we have visited so far. There's so many other places yes. we could add to this list, and I'm sure there's gonna be places that we experienced that we haven't yet that may take some spots on this list. So. Yeah, because last year when we did a similar video, there was a couple other spots that South mm -hmm. Dakota we, and, and you know just took it up. We haven't made it to Montana yet. <laughs> Things like yeah, that. So we, yeah, we have we'll lots see. to do. But we will leave a list of the private campgrounds that we stayed at um, below because I know sometimes it's harder to find spaces for big rigs. So the ones that we've stayed at with our rig, I'll make sure we put in the description below if you're interested in checking out any of those um, local campgrounds. All right, well, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. And ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. Until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own. Giveaway alert. Let's talk about the giveaway. We mentioned earlier that you uh, could enter to win a mattress of your choice sponsored by RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bennett. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this giveaway. Huge thank you. Yes. All right, now go to OneStrangeAdventure.com. Once you're on our website, there will be a big thing that says enter the giveaway. There's a couple of different ways you can enter, but you click on that link and it will take you to a website where you can enter to win. You do have to enter your name, you have to enter your email address, and you have to be at least 18 years old to enter. And in the United States. And in the United States. The central theme of this giveaway is a random act of kindness. So in order to enter the giveaway, you are required to perform a random act of kindness and then tell us about it. Yeah. So we want to hear all the things. We want to hear about it. It's not just about us giving you a mattress, it's about pushing something good out in our community. So go out there and do that. There's a couple other ways that you can enter uh, on the screen and you can kind of add up your entries and that increases your chances of winning. Yep. So at the end of the contest period, we're going to draw uh, a winner and then that lucky winner will have their information passed along to RV Mattress and they will uh, get in touch with you. The contest is actually live as of today. You can enter to win all the way up until midnight on June 10th, and we will do a live stream on June 11th where we will select the winners. Yes, we will make sure we air it live, and then that video will be up for viewing, um, and then if nobody you know claims the prize or we don't have the correct information, then we'll do another one. You must claim the prize in order to win, or we will have to draw somebody else. So, more information on that, go to our website, check it out, and go get your, go do a random act of kindness. Yes. That way you can enter. Get your entries in. Yep.